welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a review and first impressions and my opinion on the white tea perfume range from Elizabeth Arden. I have all four of them in the range here so I'm going to be taking you through explaining the difference between them all and yeah letting you know what I think. If you're new here then welcome we're all about perfumes here so do check out my hundreds and hundreds of other perfume videos and if you're a regular but you haven't subscribed yet then do hit that subscribe button and show your support and as always I will leave links down below to where you can get these in the US and the UK. So the original white tea Eau de Toilette was released in 2017 with Reese Witherspoon, beautiful Reese Witherspoon as the face of the fragrance. Obviously Elizabeth Arden really well known for their famous green tea line of perfumes which are very fresh and um, almost like a body spray at incredibly good value for money. The white tea perfumes are a little bit more expensive but still nothing like um, a top designer price we're talking maybe 30 pounds for this it's a what is this yeah the, it's 100 mil and even though it's called tea you know it doesn't really smell like tea to me it smells like a spa smell so it's like an aromatic with sage and fern mixed in with the tea leaf smell so it's not like a cup of tea like we have here in England in Britain it's like the smell of tea leaves growing um so fresh green but then with this slight herbal quality to it that just reminds me of walking into a spa um a little bit of amber and tonka bean so it's quite a warm scent um it's very much for me like a daytime feminine classy you know around the house picking the kids up from school something like that type smell where you just want to smell feminine um but you don't want a sort of heavy perfume it also has some sea notes in here so um almost like that salty fresh sea breeze type smell um so imagine going to a spa by the sea <laughs> it's that type of vibe kind of reminds me of sort of Cornwall here in England or perhaps that sort of New England breeze on the coast in Maine or something like that um it, it's definitely a classy smell and I, it's pretty universal I think if you're looking for a gift for someone we of course have Christmas coming up I think this is a fairly safe gift because it's just feminine, womanly, um, and it's good value for money considering it's 100 mil. So next we have the three flankers that came out after the original. So if we start with what's called Wild Rose, so the bottle is exactly the same except you'll see it says Wild Rose there at the base. So unsurprisingly, rose is the main note here. It really is a fresh rose. It still has some of those classic uh, white tea uh, spa fresh notes in here the thing it really really reminds me of is um, often if I go and have a facial they'll use a cleanser or something that has the smell of roses in and that's what this reminds me of like a, a rose moisturizer smell or um, a, a, yeah it's like that rose spa smell so it's not like loads and loads of roses like a, a perfume that's just like in your face roses it's like a creamy feminine almost musky rose but it's fresh it's not it's not like potpourri rose um, and then you've got that that white tea again in there they put pear blossom in here as well so it feels very fresh and uplifting very very pretty and I'd say this is a bit lighter than original white tea we then have mandarin blossom which has the orange mandarin blossom writing on there so this really does give you those mandarin vibes it's very very fresh citrusy but it's not sharp and very quickly after about 10 seconds the mandarin um, has become less in Intense and we're getting that signature white tea smell coming through. There's also some osmanthus, some lemon in here, um, so it feels perhaps more like fresh and summery, um, perhaps sort of stepping outside of the spa now. You're, you just want that fresh citrus vibe. Uh, orange blossom in here as well. 
This could easily be layered with any sort of orange blossom type perfume, Elisab, or Osmanthus perfume, Gucci Flora, anything like that would be a nice layering perfume. Um, but it really is a mandarin rather than an orange, you know, it's got that um, clementine type smell to it. And then lastly we have Vanilla Orchid. This is the third flanker. Now this is not a heavy vanilla. I know sometimes when people see the word vanilla they think, oh it's going to be too heavy for me. It's not like that at all. In fact, the sort of orchid, um, vanilla orchid flower is the main note here. So it's not, it's not like um, vanilla pod smell, it's vanilla orchid smell. So you get um, that floral, delicate orchid smell. I also get the gardenia in here and the jasmine, so it's more like a white floral to be honest, with um, the a slightly tiny bit of warm vanilla underneath, um, and slight muskiness underneath, and of course then the white tea signature smell in there as well. But this is more like comforting, perhaps during autumn winter, this would be um, something you'd want sort of when you're around the house you just want to feel cozy it's it's not fresh it's the least fresh of all of them it's more comforting you know winter jumper type smell i'd say um but again very very feminine i think it's a classy smell and just like a classic womanly scent so What's really nice as well is that they all, um, is that you can get white tea in sort of body creams and shower gels. I think this is a really nice package for a lady for a birthday or Christmas present, something like that, because you get quite a lot for your money and it's a neutral, feminine, classy smell. And of course, with um, a brand name that everyone knows, Elizabeth Arden behind it. So guys, let me know what you think of these fragrances. Have you tried them? Which is your favorite of the full? Let me know. And do let me know if you like any more videos on Elizabeth or Arden just let me know down below in the comments but that's it so thank you so much for watching as always and I will see you in the next video bye